let's do this. Um, I have not been doing a lot of YouTube lately, but now I am. Reasons. Here we go. The light's off because otherwise it hits my bald head and shines like that. You can see this little stripe here from the window that I don't have completely covered. Who cares? It's dark here, but I think you can see the comics. There you go. Nice because I've got the ring light here. So, uh, what is this? This is Half Price Books the other day. Punisher number 9, Punisher number 14. Why do I have these? Because they're both Mark Jewelers. Um, so I grabbed those up at Half Price Books for 50 cents each. Want to start reading this Tom King uh, Wonder Woman run? I hear it's really, really great, uh, but I don't feel like going paying full price and whatever, so I found a couple issues uh, at half price. What else did I find? I found this really cool Blade uh, cover. I just kind of like the cover, so I got the book. There you go. Um, brought a whole bunch of books to Destiny City the other day to... Um, trade in for some cash because i wanted to get the phases of the moon knight one in 100 yo check that out phases of the moon knight number one one in 100 by miss stephanie hans freaking gorgeous um i don't usually go for one in 100 especially when they're just virgin variants the one in 25 this one is actually a, a little bit different but similar but i i wanted to pony up the money for it so i went ahead and um sold some stuff so i could do that and then uh I had a little bit of credit left over, so I got some random books, nothing major. Got myself a sensational She-Hulk that I was missing. Just looking to um, finish that run. And I've started this run, the uh, Marvel 2-in-1s. So I grabbed a bunch that they had there. Uh, two bucks a piece, dollar a piece. Um, got a whole bunch at half price, three dollars a piece. And I'm like, if I can get them cheaper at Destiny, I'll get them cheaper at Destiny. What the heck? Uh, another half... Is this a half price run? I think this was a half price run. Um, or otherwise, I don't know where I got these from. Um, New Mutants needed that one. Found this fourth printing variant of Fear itself, which I thought was kind of cool, so I grabbed that. Still trying to finish off my X Men Adventures seasons two and three. I think I've got all of season one. And then uh, this was just a random X Men that I did not have that I wanted, so grabbed myself that. Now, these next eight books uh, I got from Weapon X, which I thought was really darn cool. Um, I've been, I had one, two, and eight, and my eight was in horrible condition, and I really wanted to finish the series. So, there you go. Lecture Assassin, Bill Sankovich, on the art and doing all the covers, and oh my lord, um, just amazing, amazing artwork. There's number two. There's number three. I love the hair on this guy from number four. He's so, like, 70s looking, even though this was an 80s uh, book. Number five gets a little um, glam 80s shot there. Six. American Gothic homage. Or... <laughs> satire i don't know what you'd call it and then number eight which i just thought was again really really cool um found this next bunch this next bunch is also some half price stuff uh nothing too big or major but um this is uh, an homage to morning glories number one but this is issue 23 this is not scotty young this is chris Giarusso, um, who I guess does a few uh, books or a few covers in this style. So it's, it's similar to Scotty Young, and everybody's looking young and little, but not quite Scotty Young, uh, his own style. I wouldn't say he's ripping it off or anything. Got the little Hit Monkey storyline in uh, Deadpool, no big reason, but this is issue, uh, this is the second appearance of Hit Monkey in here. And I guess this would be the second cover appearance. Of course, Hit Monkey number one is where you'd find his first appearance. Just grab a Canto, because I grab Cantos when I can, and I like that cover. I think this is the B cover. I sold all these the other day, so I'm kind of replenishing them. Um, X-Men Annuals. Just trying to build those back up. Uh, this was... I, I put this on my pull at my LCS, Stargazer Comics, and... 
Uh, they said somebody had already claimed it, but I guess that person did not end up purchasing it, so I was able to get this one. <laughs> one of the books that I sold to, to um, get that money was a copy of this, because I had two copies of this. What? Yes. I kept ordering books that I already had. Um, so there you go. I'm almost done. I've got five more in this series to get. Very, very close to get all the JTT Star Wars um, variants from the first uh, Marvel run in 2015, issues 1 through 75. It's actually like 77 or 78 of them because there were a couple issues where there was like the JTC regular variant and then an exclusive store variant. That was also, as long as I get issues 1 through 75, if I don't get the both variants for a couple of them, I'm okay. Uh, first appearance of Enzo. Uh, who becomes a spy for Poe, uh, along with BB-8 on the ship in Star Wars Resistance. Resistance is a kiddie show, but as I have said many times before, uh, watch Resistance, especially Season 2. There's a four-episode arc where Tam Rivera uh, joins the Empire, and I think it's really, really informative as to why people um, sort of go to the dark side or, or you know, follow fascism and believe in fascism. Um, really, really well done. I haven't read this one yet. I just got it, so I don't know how many of the members of Resistance. Uh, I know he's the lead, but I don't know if there's anybody else there from Resistance. Found just some random new bloods that I needed. Really like this cover here. And that right there. So, just a little haul there. Nothing too major, but we're not done. We're not done. Every single book here... I don't know. You tell me. Tell me in the comments if you've done this. Have you ever lost... I just wanted you to see my shirt. Have you ever lost, like, comics or misplaced comics? And you're like, I know I have that, but I, I can't find it. So... I have two boxes of Stephanie Hahn's books over here. And they're both pretty full. And then I have a third box that says Miss Marvel on the front. And most of it is Miss Marvel stuff. It's my second Miss Marvel box. But behind it, apparently, I had more Stephanie Hahn stuff. But I couldn't find that stuff. And I spent about five days last week or two weeks ago looking for it. Ended up going to eBay because I'm like, I can't be missing this many Stephanie Hans pieces. I'm trying to find like the very last pieces to like finish off my Stephanie Hans run, uh, my Stephanie Hans collection, and then keep up with the new stuff she's putting out. So I cannot have like 10 books out there that I don't have. So I started ordering stuff on eBay that I could find cheaply. So if anybody wants any of this, is interested in any of this, please let me know because um, I don't need it. This was a Doctor Strange, 1 in 25, for issue 7 of a recent Doctor Strange run. Fire coming out of the eye, fingers kind of holding something like that. Classic Han stuff going on there. Um, very, very cool. This little Black Panther, I love when she does these colors. First appearance of Omega in a comic book. Obi-Wan Kenobi, issue 6, that looks like. Um, I love that cover, actually. Suicide Squad featuring Miss Harley Quinn. Um, another Star Wars book. This is Mandalorian. Uh, issue 7. This is, I think, a great uh, Fennec Shand. And I guess that's got to be Boba Fett in the background. Um, yeah, just another great book. Dark Souls. My son says this is some video game tie-in or something. I don't know. And then this Avengers Forever, which I think is really cool. It looks very kiddie and stuff, but then when you look up close, sorry, the teeth there, the dog is not as happy as the wagging tail would make you think, and the reflection of the shield in that shield, kind of like that. So, anybody needs those, let me know. I'm perfectly willing to sell them to you really cheap. I like to sell them as a bundle. Um, you know, contact me. And, and also, like I said, let me know in the comments if you have screwed up to the point where you uh bought books that you had because you couldn't find the books and then of course you found the books all right and then i went to uh the gym today it was super muggy in the gym 
I did like I don't know, eight climbs, um, mostly warms up six sevens and eights. I failed on two five nines, but I did a five ten minus, and then I was just drenched. So what do I do when I'm drenched and feeling icky? Go to half price books because nobody bothers me <laughs> since I smell. So went to half price before I came home and changed and showered and all that. All right. I've read the first arc of this, Phantom Road. It was really, really cool. Issues one through five. What you doing there, sweetie? You okay? Yeah. Um, so I'm excited to get six through ten. This was uh, like most Jeff Lemire stuff. This was just an incredibly great read. Uh, I'm almost mad that he can come out with so many stories and so many books so fast that are so good. So there's the second arc, issue six through ten. I don't know how big that goes. And then I was super excited. These are not in order, but because I'm anal, I'm going to put these in order now. Uh, I've been trying to finish not just this run, but all of the Usagi runs. Um, the Dark Horse, the Mirage, the Fantagraphics. Uh, I have everything beyond that, right? I've got the IDW stuff, um, but I was really excited to see that. So I got myself some Usagi uh, Issue 29, issue 30, that's a funny cover there, issue 34, issue 44, issue 45, and they had way more than this, so if you're a Usagi fan, man, get yourself down a half price in Tacoma, but these are just the ones that I needed. That is what, 48, 51, 53, 56. So I was like 10 Usagis that I needed, maybe a little bit more than 10. Super excited about that. Um, these next ones all need a press. They look like they got a tiny bit of water. I don't need them. I have them, but I couldn't just leave them sitting there for... A dollar twenty-five each. So the first five, one hundred bullets. Anybody? I already own these. Anybody want these? I'll press them and sell them to you pretty cheap. Two, the great uh, Dizzy Cordova cover. Does everybody remember when women wore pants like that in like nineteen ninety-seven? And then the uh, the thong. Yep, that was a that was a look. That was a thing. Um, thong straps riding above your low rider jeans was definitely a thing. Uh, don't ask me why. I'm not in charge of fashion. Uh, if I had a thong, I guess I would wear it, but I didn't own any, so so no reason to go with the low rise. This last one I'm pretty excited about. Uh, Usagi first came out in like 1986 or 87. Uh, this is actually beautiful condition. Um, this is from 91, so it's a few years ago, but apparently it has, like, the origin story of um, Usagi, an interview with Stan Sakai and information. I haven't even opened this yet, um, about how Usagi came about. This is Amazing Heroes, issue 127. I got it for 20 bucks, which I think is pretty good. Um, you know, Key Collector, their prices are not all over the place, but they're not updated a lot they have it listed as a $30 book and I would say that it is uh, it is probably worth it uh, I mean is it it's in, it's in top condition it's worth what somebody's gonna pay for it now he's glad to pay $20 I always like when I see something in half price that's less than the um, you know what key collector says that book is worth um, because you know I don't think that key collector always bases their prices on raw sales or I don't even know what they base their price on some stuff I know they probably have algorithms that scour uh, eBay and put prices together but who knows anyway excited to get that um, nice book nice Usagi run Phantom Road to read 100 bullets because I needed to save it from you know the the dollar 25 bins and that's it. So thank you for being with me. I will catch you later. Hopefully, I'm going to try to do a little bit more content this August before school ramps up again in September. Peace.